crafting is all that means is that we're collecting things that are native and grow wild. And what I've done in my yard is have spots where I mow, keep things down, but I also have spots where I let the wild stuff just grow because most of it I use in my product. The birds love it, the bees love it. Um, even some things that I don't. This is in my liver cleanse. This is called Yellow Doc. This is plantain. It's one of the five ingredients that we use for the healing salve. Next thing that I'm getting is called chickweed, and that is also in our healing salve. Chickweed is best in the spring. It gets very leggy, and it gets very, um, it loses its green and its moisture. This also is just an incredible healer for the skin. We just pick it, uh, we spread it out onto giant screens, and we just let it dry itself out. And it's one of the things that gets infused for the healing salve. It's also delicious on a spring salad and really, really good for you, full of really good nutrients and vitamins. Okay, so now what Haley and I are getting is red clover. For the red clover, you use the flowering top and it is just an incredible blood cleanser to drink or use on your skin. It's one of the plants that we use in everything in the rosehip line. As you can see, I have cultivated plants. This is a hydrangea that I planted. I have iris. You can let the wild things grow right alongside your garden and they'll add nutrients to the, to the soil. They'll add nitrogen to the soil. So you don't have to decide if you want to have one or the other. You can have a beautiful cultivated garden and plant whatever you want and just give the wild things a little bit of space to grow. This is a Rose of Sharon that I planted. This red clover, all I did was just not mow right here in this spot. So if you see a spot in your yard where clover, dandelion, chickweed, any of those lovely plants that are native to the area are coming up, just skip that one spot and let them grow. No matter what the size of your yard is, you can do a cultivated garden and then leave a spot where you have a wild garden. I've just made a path so that the two areas don't take over. This is all milkweed and I've left it all alone. In here is milkweed, goldenrod, yarrow, Queen Anne's lace, and milkweed is one of the absolute favorites of bees and butterflies and birds. And you can do that even with a very small yard. You can have a little strip that you just don't mow and see what comes up.